Hi people, how are you all doing? Okay, um some news has been trending online about me going to some office and beating up the staff and taking their laptops. Okay. First thing is, I am not one of those people that will come to social media and start reporting my issues with someone when it can be settled outside social media. This lady named them Sandra, who owns Ella Logistics. I used her company for my business. I used her to send, um, I used them rather to send some items which was going to London but they made a mistake with the address they put in the wrong address which I called them to correct it that they made a mistake and they said they will do it this happened on the 6th so they go back to me on the 10th that they've done it and the item has left Nigeria so on the yeah on the 10th they sent everything that it has left nigeria so we forwarded the new tracking number to the client who owns the item mind you this is her first time buying from me she's a first time customer so whenever a company is being sent to me by my workers i try to look into it and know where the problem is from in as much as i don't handle the WhatsApp line where they take orders and do deliveries from but when the matter or the case is serious they try to reach out to me and I try to solve it because everybody buying anything from me knows that I own the business and the reason they're buying from me is that they know that there are a lot of fake pages on Instagram so if they're buying from this person they know this person is a celebrity and cannot run away with their money if I've not been in business, I've been in business for at least 10 years. So I know what it is to put down somebody's business. Nothing stopped me from coming online to call out Ella Logistics that they've been delaying my item and they're not doing anything about it. But I didn't do it. Instead, I was calling them on the phone sending the their boss a dm complaining which she was responding at first but it got to a point she stopped responding to me she started um saying that she has staffs that handle all these things that she doesn't get involved in things like this and no that nevertheless she's going to write a ups because they used ups to send the item reason why um, sometimes clients choose to use um, UPS or FedEx is because DHL sometimes may be very expensive to a particular destination. I am registered with DHL and when, once I have issues like this, it's easy. We just do them a mail and they are going to retrieve the item or sort it out. I'm not registered with UPS or FedEx but since I want to satisfy my customer and they want something cheaper for them to be able to pay I go to Ella because their prices was quite affordable I would tell my customer this is what they have can you will you use them and they say yes I'll go ahead with them but Ella's issue now is she cannot do anything that is UPS whatever problem I have is with UPS and I'm telling her that I didn't go to UPS we came to your company, not UPS. The owner of this item now is threatening to call me out. Not like she's threatening, she's already calling me out because she's already typing on blogs, tagging me, calling me names, telling me that she's going to report my account. She'll get people to report my account and that I'm a scammer and stuff. I was explaining all these things to Sandra that see, my business is at risk. Can you please do something about it? Let, they should retrieve this item let me know that i have it and use um another means i don't mind paying another means to send the items back to this woman or they should refund her her money in full 
Ella say, hey, but they will not refund. But she's holding UPS payment. And since you're holding their payments, why not you refund them? This happened on the 6th of July. And as I'm talking to you, this is three months. Three months. This lady did not get her item. As at last week, Monday, I sent my manager to UPS office, their head office. We're not supposed to do that. We didn't do direct business with DH or with um, UPS. It was Ella Logistics we worked with. She was supposed to be going for this and not us. But I sent my manager to uh, mainland. You could know what the price is now to even go to mainland with uh, um, Uber or boat. But he went only for UPS to check the tracking number and say, no, now this item has been delivered a long time ago in Denmark. I was like, how? Now this item was supposed to be sent to UK and not Denmark. So, my manager got back and went to Ella Logistics and told them that see, see what they are saying, how manage. Then they were like, ah, that they are not that well, meaning that they've not been following up. It got me upset. The lady in question kept threatening me, calling me a scammer. There is nothing this lady has not called me. At a point, uh, me and her had to have issue on phone because I tried calling her to explain to her that see what's going on. Can you calm down while we're trying to sort this? She said, I'm not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything. And I feel bad because it's her first time. I won't, I'm not angry at her. God bear me witness, I'm not. Because she's doing whatever any customer would do. She has not bought from me before, so she cannot trust the brand. So, on um, on Thursday, yeah, I think 21st or thereabouts, September, Instagram disabled my business account. So I lost my business page. It was so sad because it took me a while to build this page back. The last message I sent to Sandra, I think on Wednesday or so, she did not open it. I was still complaining to her, see what this lady is complaining, see what she's reporting my account, she's doing this, this lady did not do anything about it. So they brought down my account and then I still told my manager to contact them again. I called them on phone. I was angry. I was shouting. What's happening? You have made me lose my account. Like I'm not happy about this whole thing anymore. Can you just refund this woman? I tried opening another account. They brought it down again the next day. I said, okay, that, that's it. Today now, being on um, the 29th of September, I walked into their office. I was angry. I went with my manager here and uh, about two of my staff were there. But I got to the office. I told them, come, let's go. We went to Ella's logistic today being 29th. I got in there. I told her, I told them, where is your boss? They said, she's not around. Where is the manager? He's not around. I said, what's happening? Where is my item? Where is my goods? Because I can't get why I sent something out for the past three months and nothing is being done about it. Do you know these people, they ignored me. They were busy pressing their phone. I asked them, I asked them, didn't I pay for the stuff? Am I not a customer? Even when this stuff happened, I was still using your company. Am I not a customer? It was just one of the guys that was like, yes, my, you are. The other people, they were busy pressing their laptop and oh, I got angry. I closed the laptop and I carried the laptop and headed to the station. Getting to the station, I told them what happened. I put down my statement. I was putting down my statement when I got a call from the office. Not me, my manager actually got a call from the office that um, some people were there with um, two policemen. Um, the lady, Sandra, and her boyfriend with two policemen that they came and they were packing things from the store and beating my staff pushing them to go out from the road and all. At, uh, at the end, they ended up taking one of the staff out. So the policeman was like, uh -uh. the policeman go with you to someone's shop to beat somebody up. Like it's not possible. So 